the pot and my favorite way to use it is to let it dry up in here so this is wow ancient <laughs> tar i let it sit there and dry out i'll touch this so you know not even can't even get a fingerprint in there and then to activate it i'm using words that may not be exactly what's happening but i'll do it anyway this is the way i think of it i add a little vegetable oil you can use um you know coconut oil or uh any oil excuse me um, I choose vegetable oil because it's inexpensive and it dries nicely. I just put maybe not even a tablespoon, a teaspoon into there. Let it kind of wash itself around. And then an inexpensive chipwood brush, hog bristles. I cut short so that it's more um, of a stippling brush, shorter bristles, so I can really grind it in there. I rub it in there to blend the oil and the tar. The oil sort of um, dissolves and breaks down the tar. Again, words that might not be appropriate for what's actually happening or the best description, but the best I can do. And then, because I haven't done very much with that one, I've worked this one a bit more. And then I use that brush and I, I club it <laughs> and rub it into the surface of my paintings. Where this is most effective is going to be where there's texture. So if you have incising and edges and elements and the brush strokes showing, you're going to get the most um, interesting evidence of this marriage of tar with encaustic. And then I wipe away. I've got paper towels here. Yes, gloved hands are a good thing. Not in my case right now, apparently. Forgotten. I've been painting next door at 284 in the Encosta Castle Encosta Compound um, edition. And uh, my hands are just a mess, so I've kind of let wearing gloves go the way by. All right. Now you can rub off as much as you like or as little as you like. Well, maybe not as little as you like. You do need to get a lot of surface clean going on. And you can see it's sort of antiqued, giving it a vintage appeal. It unifies color. It pushes color back, which I'm going to show you with this piece because this is a very bold and bright color. And it just gives it a whole new look, highlighting those edges of the mica chips I have going on in there, catching under the holes and divots. It acts very much, behaves very much like putting oil paint or pigment stick into incisings to highlight those, yet it's a different material. I like... Um, the tone it gives. It's similar to uh, burnt umber, but 